Hello everybody, my name is Sohail Nazem and this is the first video of Cyber Security Principle course. Why do we need security? Actually, with exposure of internet and communication in daily life of humankind and working activity, day by day the importance of protection from privacy and confidentiality was increased. Let me tell you that the history of the cybersecurity is not the matter in this course, but let me summarize you some of the most important cyber attacks against different companies in different industries in recent years. One of the most famous ones happened on 2014 against Fiat Chrysler Automotive Company on its product Jeep Cherokee. Two researchers called Chris Walasek and Charlie Miller attacked to the digital systems of the car over internet and they could deactivate the braking system of the car. This attack happened remotely via internet, so FCA had to update its software patch in order to avoid repetition of this attack. So FCA had to recall all the vehicles in order to install the suitable software patch on them. Of course, it costed a lot for one company like FCA to handle this issue in that period. But for the automotive industry, the lesson learned from this phenomenon was the security risks of vehicle software need to be addressed in the product development life cycle and throughout the product life cycle. Actually, the automotive industry after this attack changed its opinion completely about the concept of cyber security and cyber attacks. Let me go with each other to the second example. Facebook, Facebook attacks happened in 2017. The result was data breach of around 50 million users. The attackers exploited a feature in Facebook's code to gain access to user accounts and potentially take control of them. After this period, senior executives advised to lawmakers to push more restrictions on social media private companies in order to protect the private data of their users. Actually, this attack was not limited only to Facebook application. Some of the other reports announced that attackers could leverage the security flaws in source code and access the Instagram user information. Facebook announced that also preventively secure 40 million additional accounts. Facebook said that it looks unlikely that private messages were accessed. No credit card information was taken in the breach. The company said that it does not know who attacked on their data, but this is the activity that FBI is investigating about. On September 27th, Facebook said it fixed the vulnerability and then began resetting the access tokens of people to protect the security of their accounts. Let me go with, with each other to the third example, which happened recently, on January 2020. The security data breach is found in one of the German sites of the H&M retailer store happened in the fashion industry. Hamburg's data protection commissioner said in a statement that a hard drive containing 60 gigabytes of data revealed that managers at H&M's Nuremberg site kept detailed and systematic records on employees' health, private lives, and holiday experiences. The database was then leaked to other H&M staff who shouldn't have had access to sensitive employee data. Now this issue is under the investigation because of data breaches which happened inside of organization. Actually, these samples demonstrate the importance of robust approaches for protection of the information and have general awareness about the cybersecurity attacks and the mitigation mechanism for avoiding the damage. So, what we will study in this course? In this course, I'll review with you the strategy and process of cybersecurity 
which shall be applied on any kind of security relevant processes in any company in any industry. I will talk with you about the technical principles of cybersecurity like hash functions, authentication, symmetric and asymmetric algorithms, and etc. And in addition, I will discuss about one systematic approach for defending against the attacks. This would be the only solution which can guarantee any enterprise to resist against these threats. The first chapter is overview of cyber attacks. What are the cyber attacks from definition point of view? Which kind of attacks can be considered as a cyber attack? Then we will see with each other the attack types and the most common attacks and their mitigation mechanism like denial of service, man in the middle, phishing attack, and etc. Then in the second chapter, I will review with you governance security. I'll talk about the governance in the cybersecurity, what the governance is and why it is important in the organizational level. Then I speak about gap analysis and how it can be done in an enterprise, what are our assets, how can we distinguish and categorize them from each other, and how can we manage them from security point of view. After recognizing of assets, we should assess the potential risks on our assets, and then we should assign the responsibilities to our personnel in organizational level or in our project level. In order to protect our systems, the organization should specify one strategy. I will talk about different possible strategies and then the mechanism for measurement of performance of chosen strategy. I'll see with you how the verification process on whole of the governance process can be applied in one company. After the second chapter, we'll go with each other to the third chapter. In the next one, we'll speak about the protection, the protection mechanism and techniques in cybersecurity, access control, and then I'll speak with you about the famous triad in cybersecurity, CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. I'll talk, I'll talk with you about all of the subsections in detail. In addition, we see with each other authenticity and wrong reputation, the definition of the authentication, the definition of the integrity of the data, availability, and all of them will be discussed in this chapter. For the next chapter, let me tell you that till here we protected our system and now we want to be able to detect any eventual attack on our assets. What would we do? How can we detect these attacks and on which level should we apply the detection mechanism? Any enterprise shall be able to do continuous monitoring on its assets and shall apply detection mechanism on host, network, virtual machine, and perimeters. I will speak about the most common tools for each of these intrusion detection systems. In continue, two approaches of the detection mechanism, signature-based and anomaly detection, will be discussed. Okay, for the fifth chapter, suppose that one attack was done successfully and you should be ready for performing the reaction. How would you do that? Incident response. All of this process is defined in the response planning. Response planning is your plan which shall be defined in the process definition phase for being applied in these conditions. The organization shall be able to report this attack and analyze it in efficient and comprehensive way. Then it should interfere to improve and neutralize its affected infrastructure. The time is definitely a matter in this process because more sooner an efficient reaction 
means less damage. Okay, in the last chapter, we will speak about the recovery. Suppose that you have repealed the attack and now you need to recover all of your affected systems. What would you do? First of all, you need to have a recovery plan. You should have a plan for proving what you are going to do. What would you do for improvement? You should not be affected by the similar attack again in the future. So, you should immune your systems from this attack category. And finally, the organization should announce to all of the involved stakeholders about the recovery and the plan, which it did during these procedures. So finally, consequently, I will discuss about all of these concepts and techniques during this course. Be in touch with us through our channel. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel. For any question, you can drop me a message in comments. See you soon with upcoming videos. Thank you very much.